Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to CTN Member Highlight. Today I am with Alessa Wiley. Hi. Hello. Who is with Greater Portland Landmarks. You're the Education Director? Manager of Education Programs, yes. But today you're acting as the Site Manager for? The Portland Observatory. <laughs> well, as I've told you earlier, uh, the Portland Observatory is my favorite landmark in the city. and. I, nobody else has a place like this. Oh, I know. We totally agree. All of us here just absolutely love this place, and, and I think it shows. Yeah. Definitely. And today is Flag Day. Today is Flag Day. In 1777, the flag was adopted by the Second Continental Congress, and so we celebrate Flag Day here. Since 1939, we've been celebrating Flag Day. Well, and what an appropriate place to celebrate Flag Day. Yes, definitely. The very first restoration of this building occurred and, and the restoration was completed in, on June 14th, 1939. And that was the first time that they celebrated Flag Day here and have kept that tradition on since then. But the flags of all the ships that would come into port would be flown. Correct, correct. This building was all about communication. It was built for communication and it used flags for that communication. And so it is very appropriate that we celebrate Flag Day as well. And what's nicer than a flag? I mean, I, it doesn't matter whether it's a country's flag or a banner proclaiming joy and happiness. Exactly, exactly. There's something very uplifting about a flag and just especially seeing it today flying in the wind or sometimes whipping today in the wind. It's just a beautiful sight. And I believe today is the 100th anniversary of Woodrow Wilson signing this in as an oh, official day. Well, that's, I didn't know that. That's terrific. I checked online. I like that. <laughs> that's terrific. So tell us, how many years has Landmarks been opening the observatory for Flag Day free for the public? Free. So, well, since actually 2000 is in the building underwent a whole major restoration at the end of the 90s and it reopened on Flag Day in 2000, and so basically we've been celebrating ever since. And this is early in the day, but you've already had 90 some odd people. We have, we've had this nice steady stream of people all morning, and we're expecting to be continuing this afternoon, and we're even open late till seven o'clock tonight to kind of get some, be available for people coming home. Tell me what the most asked question about the observatory is. Oh. I think, how many stairs are there to the top? And? 104. <laughs> Although some say 103, but we're sticking with 104. So. And the idea that it uh, looks like a lighthouse and it's on land in the middle of the city. Yes, that is another question. This is not a lighthouse. and No, it is not a lighthouse. It was built for communication. And that was its main purpose. And it communicated from ship to shore using flags. So it was a very simple process that was developed by Captain Lemuel Moody, who was the person who built this in 1807. And, and it just continued on being used until 1923 when the two-way radio came into being and it was no longer needed. Now I used to live right next door and I know that when the cruise ships come in, if they have a flag of a cruise ship, they will still do that. Yes, we do. We do try to fly some of the flags of the cruise ships just to, to continue that tradition of letting everyone know what, what cruise ship is here. And I love that. And I, and I love that, um, that the, the women um, whose husbands were out to sea, because traditionally that's the way it worked, Correct. could look up at the top of the observatory, could be seen from anywhere in the city, and know whose ship what was coming ship was in. coming in. Exactly, exactly. And Captain Moody was quite the entrepreneur, so they could also climb up to the top if they paid 12 and a half cents. <laughs> so. Well, I know it's free today, yes. but even when you charge something, you're not far from that you know, <laughs> 12 cents. <laughs> no, we do charge, it's $10 to go to the top. We have a reduced rate for, for Portland residents, and we also have a discount, slight discount for AAA and seniors and that. But um, everyone just loves coming here and, nice. and getting the view from the top. Well, there's nothing like the view from the top. And we're going to go take a peek. Thank you Excellent. so much. Well, thank you so much and enjoy. Forevermore I'll stay. See you.